Hey guys, even here and here you can check out what the Rolly Winkler looks like right now X amount of weeks out of X show So I don't know which show he's doing He did say he's gonna be competing soon And he does need a qualification He is not qualified for the Mr. Olympia 2021 So he's gonna be jumping into one of the shows And we basically already have a good idea which bodybuilders are doing which shows and Rolly Winkler is gonna destroy some people's plans really kill some people's dreams because whichever show he decides to do he's gonna win that one right now right here in this video he's looking insane take a look at that that, that rear delt pop and the size of those arms overall his size look at the shoulders and the arms Jesus yeah he's huge he is really freaking big look at the back here the lats everything so he didn't lose anything he looks so fresh he looks so good and whichever show he decides to do I'm pretty sure he's winning it he is a top five Olympian guys he's potentially a Mr. Olympia winner he just didn't compete last year so that's why he's not qualified but he might get a special invite I think he should because he can win the Mr. Olympia just like last year with Big Grammy yeah there was a reason for Big Grammy not being able to compete but even still I wouldn't mind them inviting uh, Rolly Winkler because sure I mean let's make it easier for a guy who is a top contender to you know bring his absolute best because that's what we want to see okay sure yeah we want to see him at another show as well and it's kind of not fair to the other competitors but I wouldn't mind honestly I mean he's a good bodybuilder he proved himself by being third after Sean Norton and Phil Heath who are not there anymore I mean most likely we're not really sure about those guys and back in the day during the 90s they used to give out the special invites much much easier than they are doing today so I'm guessing we will see Rolly Winkler at one of the upcoming shows qualifiers for the Mr. Olympia 2021 this video right here, this is two weeks out of 2019 Mr. Olympia where he was off. If he was on, like he was at 2018 Mr. Olympia, maybe he would have won the Mr. Olympia that year. And uh, next year maybe he would have won it again if he had the momentum. And that's how good of a bodybuilder Oli Winkler is in case you forgot. So whichever show he decides to do, I mean, can Ian Valier, for example, beat him? Can Akim Williams beat him? Can Sergio Olivo or Hunter Labrada beat him? No, no, no. Whichever show he decides to do, he will win it. I mean, take a look at his physique, it's just insane. There was also this photo, two weeks ago, I found this one, so he was big, he is big. He has a lot of muscle, a lot of fullness, he didn't lose anything, and it's gonna be all about the, how good conditioning he brings, if you talk about how well will he do at the Mr. Olympia. If you talk about, is he gonna win a pro show, a Mr. Olympia qualifier, he can come at 80%, he's gonna win any show, really. And here is another video that Larry Wills actually just posted right now. And right here you can see the size difference between Larry Wills, who is an insanely big powerlifter, and Rolly Winkler, probably the biggest arms in the history of bodybuilding. And Larry is out tangling him way too much. So he realizes that right now and then he steps a little bit closer to Rolly, so it's it's not too obvious. But yeah, Rolly's arms are just much better. And it's it's weird. Is it weird that Rolly is stronger, actually? He's doing uh, 10 pounds more with a better form. Maybe he's not curling the weight uh, all the way up, but he's not using any shoulders. He's not moving the elbows at all. It's only biceps. I think this is way harder. And he's, he's, he's actually using 10 pounds heavier dumbbell. And he's not a powerlifter. He's a bodybuilder. Is it weird that he's stronger than Larry Wills? I don't know. But all this size, it's, it's real muscle. It's real size does mean something so it's it's a lot of strength for sure in those biceps those arms are not just big they're very strong so you can get the idea again of Rolly Winkler what he looks like right now and again whichever show he decides to do that's the show he's gonna win and qualify for the Mr. Olympia and how well will he do at the Mr. Olympia my guess would be at least top five whatever you guys think tell me down below classic physique Mr. Olympia Chris Bumstead a classic guy is pulling seven plates on a deadlift with a proper form like perfect form and whatever he's doing really all the exercises he's always having this, this good form he could have gotten that third rep probably but with a little bit worse form he just didn't want to sacrifice it and then he does another set with six plates and look at how easy he's doing this so classic bodybuilders sometimes are very very strong and i don't think there is a lot of open bodybuilders that can deadlift this much weight and he is right now not really in the off season he's probably about to start the prep and he, last time last year he talked about this so he would go uh, he would do the last bulk right before the contest prep 
so that's probably what he's doing right now of course this is not right now this is uh, this is probably i don't know how many weeks out of a show and right now he's in the off season and he's probably pushing it the hardest that's why he's lifting so heavy and uh, at some point he's gonna start dieting down and is he gonna win the third mr olympia title in classic physique yeah i think that's pretty safe to say i think it's gonna be pretty easy for him even though Chris is doing 7 plates for 2 reps, Ian Valier, his coach and brother-in-law as well, will find a way to do something more impressive, and it is 5 plates for 20 reps. I don't know which one is more impressive, but I'm pretty sure this one is. Guys, 20 reps. Just like James Hollingscat says here in the comments, lungs of steel. So this does require a lot of effort. Dexter Jackson. Maybe he did quit competing, but he did not quit bodybuilding. He's still in the gym training and posting about it and you can get the idea of how big he is and this is basically the way that he was maintaining for a while now so this is not the first physique update that i posted of him uh, in the past couple of videos that he posted you could have gotten the idea that uh, he is maintaining this kind of weight he is about i believe 225 something like that and uh, he's pretty comfortable at this weight he doesn't have to be like 250 260 in the off season he can stay at this lower weight still look like a bodybuilder like a good bodybuilder and uh, be healthy of course healthier so he is probably comfortable with this weight and he's maintaining it he's probably not having to push too hard not to eat too um, too much because he really hates to eat and he has super fast metabolism so he needs to eat a lot if he wants to grow or even to maintain his weight really but with this kind of weight i'm sure he's having much more comfortable life not having to push uh, push the, the food so much force feed himself and he's enjoying bodybuilding all right so the next post is rather interesting it's hunter labrada with his father Lee labrada who also stayed in really good shape but standing next to his son yeah he gets dwarfed so basically i would say i mean at least this photo it's probably a little bit out angled but his uh, hunter's calves do look bigger than uh, than lee's quads and that, of course, wouldn't be the case if Lee was at his best when he was younger. But still, I mean, Hunter was Hunter is much bigger than Lee ever was. But right now, of course, Lee is 55, something like that. So he's quite, quite, uh, quite a bit older than Hunter, of course. But he has at least one thing better, and that is a tan. He's definitely way more tanned. And probably even more conditioned right now. So Lee really is in a good shape, in really good conditioning. I don't know why is he staying in this good of conditioning. Maybe it's just his metabolism. Maybe he's just uh, eating normally and his metabolism is just super fast still. And he has very thin skin, you know, for being uh, as old as he is. So he looks super shredded all the time. Look at his quads. I mean, he's peeled. Like, how much, how much body fat percent is this? It's like 5%, 4%. It's very, very low very low i don't know if he's dieting or not but he's really shredded more shredded than hunter but of course hunter is just uh, smoking him with a size but it's definitely very interesting to see these two guys both in a good shape hunter is competing in about seven weeks or so and uh, lee is lee is retired for a long time but he's still in a great shape and it's great to see these two guys i mean a father and a son having fun in the gym together taking these silly photos posing together showing off their gains it's really cool to see this whatever you guys think tell me down below and for the end we have sergio oliva jr and i don't know if this is a recent physique update or not at one point he said he's not gonna be posting any new physique updates then he posted a new one before that he posted an old one without saying it's an old one so i don't know how recent this one is but i'm guessing it's recent it does look recent he looks big here he looks probably bigger than before what about the conditioning? Is he conditioned enough for seven weeks out? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he's not going to be in shape. He was pretty consistent so far with the conditioning. So I'm pretty sure he will be in a good shape. In this video right here, he doesn't look like show ready. But there is seven weeks left. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be in shape. But does he look big? Yes. Does he look bigger than last year? I think so. I think in this post he does look a little bigger. The shoulders, man. Yeah, they're probably pumped as hell, but they are looking pretty big, like really big. And he's a taller guy. He's like 5 foot 11, I believe. So with that height uh, and all the size that he has, being 304 pounds right now, yeah, he's gonna be a big bodybuilder, hard to beat. I do have Hunter actually beating him, but it's gonna be a hell of a show, I can tell you that much. And it's gonna be a clash of the sons of the legends, right? So, 
that's gonna do it for this video guys whatever you think tell me down below in the comment section like this video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more bodybuilding videos like this subscribe to this channel all the best guys and bye bye